God. Hello, everybody. We are back with another TVG and SLNC Talks. And this time, we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Z, Revival of F. And how everything ties into it, and what we think is going to happen, and everything around that. Okay, Just and turn that hype meter up to infinity. Yeah, and now you hear my partner, the salad, sir. Of course, he's going to be part in this. And let's get this started with Fukatsu no F. Um, okay, so I want to say something to begin with. Um, and Netta knows this all too well. I I used to not be a fan of Dragon Ball Z. No, I used to didn't. make so much. I used to make so much fun of it, like. You know, all of the screaming and stuff like that, powering up, the ah! fight taking forever <laughs> to finish. Yeah. And it's usually like one punch and it's like they're down or something like that. But then Netta said, hey, you should at least watch a couple episodes and tell me what you think. I did. I, uh, I'm now on the, I'm actually on the Android saga right now. Oh, sweet. And me, I've watched all the movies, or uh, pretty much the entire series, multiple times. Abridged. Yeah, also abridged from Team Four Star, <laughs> which, is, which is one of my favorites. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, abridged is definitely funny. Is definitely one of my favorites, and it actually um, got me more and more into the series. Yeah, but that's how I watched the series. Um, I actually got interested in watching the series. Um, basically, I watched Team Four Stars Abridged. Even I saw my brother watching it one time, and I'm like, hmm, that's pretty funny. Because I laughed at a few parts, so I watched it. Then I got interested in watching um, Dragon Ball Z, because I they only got to like the Android saga, and I want to see what happens after that. Actually, they started the Cell Saga, but they haven't... Um... They only have like six episodes in it, and the Cell Saga is like one of the most, one of the yeah. better ones, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. We're getting off topic. We will talk. We will talk yeah. about Revival F. <laughs> okay. So, um, like I said, turn that hype meter all the way to infinity. Yeah. Uh, because this is huge. I like, mean, you're talking about thought, the person that Goku went Super Saiyan on for the very first time. And he's probably yeah. like, the best villain in Dragon Ball Z. Next to um, what I think, uh, probably Vegeta, when he was a villain. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. But basically, I think that this movie is going to be awesome because... When I saw Battle oh, yeah. of Gods, you normally thought, I mean, people thought of what happens if Fre Freezer gets revived because the uh, the God of Destruction, Beerus, apparently, um, get... Yeah, um, because Beerus straight up mentions Freeze. he said, like, um, if I, uh, remind if I, me to destroy yeah. him if I see him. Yeah. And then, like, the, we says, like, um... That wouldn't be possible because he's already been defeated by someone else, and Beerus is like, oh. Yeah, he actually gets somewhat scared. When you look at his face, and, you, and he goes, says, what? Like, he was surprised. He, oh, he yeah. looks like, surprised, and I'm like, this is the God of Destruction. How would he be yeah, surprised? Why, why would he be surprised at uh, what Vegeta likes to call a low-class warrior? Yeah. I mean, wh why? But... And now, with Revival of F, um, I mean, I really don't know how they're going to, like, start it off. Are they because, because the initial part that we see in the trailer is actually Trunks um, fighting Mecha Frieza Which at was... the beginning of the Android Saga. Yeah. After Frieza had been defeated by Goku... And I thought, actually, I actually thought that, uh, Frieza got, um, melted by Goku. That's, that's why I thought he was initially dead. Because, um, yeah, I mean... Because you pretty much see his body, like, turning into nothing. Yeah, but had, did you ever, you may not know this, but did you even hear before they said the, 
the title's going to be called Revival of F. Did you know what they were going to call it before it? And which Battle will give of you a huge... Nope. They were going to call it the worst wish in history. So you would know that someone made a wish with the Dragon Balls to bring Freezer back when they said Revival of oh. F. Oh. I'm guessing it's going to be... I would imagine one of those troublemaking kids from uh, Battle of Gods. What, you mean Goten, Trunks, uh, them two? No, 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 no. Emperor Pilaf, mm. Mai, and whatever that they, they don't even other know guy's name they was. Don't, they don't even know Frieza. I mean, Emperor Pilaf was the first villain in Dragon Ball. The first ever villain in Dragon Ball that Goku actually faced off against. Oh, so that's why he was freaking out. Okay, I get you. Yeah, because uh, Silent Star has not seen the original Dragon Ball. I have. I also seen GT. Uh, uh, non-canon. It is non-canon. So, um, it depends what your definition definition is of non-canon, but most people think that it's means no Super Saiyan for Goku. Which is sad, but you know you get to see Super Saiyan God and be happy about it. <laughs> yeah, Super Saiyan God was bad enough. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sad. Super Saiyan Four did look cool, but anyway, um. In the trailer, you could see, and I'm sorry I cannot put this up because most guaranteed a copyright. Copyright. <laughs> yeah, most guaranteed that, and I don't want to risk copyright that. Copyright strike. Yeah, that's why this game put Raging Blast 2 in the background and maybe some Xenoverse. <laughs> 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 yeah, but anyway, um, we're just going to talk about it, seeing what we've seen. Because you normally see Freezer's transformation and it normally looks like a Lakers guy. From people making that joke so many times, they're making they're saying, "Yeah, Freezer's a Lakers fan. He's blue. He's yellow and purple. That's up what they see." <laughs> um, then Frieza would be very um disappointed on how they're doing. The Lakers suck now. Oh, they lost, yeah. they lost Kobe again, so they officially suck again. Yeah. Um. But, Save that for another time. Save that for another time. I was just about to say that. Yeah, don't don't get me go don't get that 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 that, that, that don't get me started with basketball. He, I he, will go off. He will go off. <laughs> but anyway, um, what I saw in the trailer <laughs> when I saw Frieza's new transformation and Goku getting obscenely destroyed, which did put up a good fight, but he got some he got destroyed most likely. And, uh, you know when you see Vegeta hovering o over Goku, like he's disappointed in Goku. And then you also see another scene where you s you normally see the God transformation happening to Vegeta. I feel like he's gonna turn Super Saiyan God and then obtain the powers. And then maybe they will be able to fuse together to make Gogeta, which, oh, which is non-canon, but it's a possibility. I mean, Super Saiyan God Gogeta? No, it wouldn't be Super Saiyan it's God possible? Gogeta. It wouldn't be because Goku doesn't have his God form anymore. He oh, doesn't yeah. have his God form at all because so it expires. It would just be Gogeta. Like, yeah, it would just be regular um, Gogeta versing against uh, Super Saiyan. Uh, no, not Super Saiyan God Frieza. There, I always fifth form say. Frieza. Yeah, fifth form Frieza, what people are calling it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there's that. <laughs> and I'm kind of at a standstill right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... Um... Let's see. I do... Because Frieza is my favorite villain in Dragon Ball Z. Because he's just ruthless, cunning, and he just doesn't care what, like, what's in his way. He'll just destroy it. He will now, destroy it. a lot of... A lot of people are like, but what about Beerus? Beerus, technically, he wasn't really a bad guy, although he was perceived to be uh, a bad guy. People set him off, and that's what made him bad. Other than that, he was just like... <laughs> he wanted to have actually... pudding. <laughs> yeah, he, he, wanted, he wanted to have pudding. And Majin Buu was like, no. <laughs> it is my opinion <laughs> now. <laughs> remember, remember that meme that you sent me? Yeah, that was a meme I sent him around. Uh, Try um, to, like, I'd, I'll, I'll tell you after the video.
But yeah. either way, um, like for <laughs> for that, um, Beerus technically wasn't even a bad guy. He was just perceived to be, and um, people set him off, and he got angry. For the stupidest I mean, reason much ever. You can do. I know. But anyway, I kind of want to talk about how Beerus and Weezer's tie is in Fukatsu no F. Um, because you do see them in the trailer, and they look like they're looking at something, and they're just talking about it. We don't know what they're looking at, but um, I'm hoping Beerus gets to team up with Goku against Freezer because Beerus is powerful than Goku even after God form, because at the end of Battle of Gods, extended edition you see you hear we saying oh yeah it's been a while since you've been uh using 70 percent of your power so he wasn't going full power uh, but yes that would also and we also we also all we are also all aware of um the fact that power levels are absurd because you know yeah, that's just how the that's just how Akira Toriyama wanted to perceive it. He, he wanted to have the villains be so cocky, uh, judging them on their um, power levels. And like, I'm going to be using a line from uh, Abridged, and I hope we don't get copyrighted for this. No, this is like free speech. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, but here's it's basically like. Well, either Frieza hit me so hard in the head that I'm seeing stuff, or power levels are bull. Yeah, that bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Which, of course, is not in real Dragon Ball Z. It's just a parody. But you know. Um... But even parodies can like, like, because with uh, abridged, it's like it's a parody, but at the same time, it focuses on all main aspects from Dragon Ball Z, and even some aspects from Dragon Ball. Yeah, because you know you have um, Emperor Pilaf and his game, they're just young, they're very young, and you know we see them, they're pretty much useless in the series, they, but they are very uh, funny, they're hilarious. And <laughs> I, I love how they're still in the series after Mayan all this time. Mayan trunks at the end. Oh yeah, my and Trunks have a thing. Oh yeah, I also yeah, wanted to talk about do. um why Kid Trunks and Goten, why do you not see them in the trailer? Why do you not see them? They're not in the uh, trailer at all. So Because they... I'm pretty sure uh, at the time of Frieza, Goten was definitely not born yet, and Trunks wasn't born yet either. No, but this is placed after Bow of Gods. This is placed after Battle of Gods. So, basically, when you think of that, um, th of course, they have to be in the movie. This is not, like, what, just after, um, f fuck, <laughs> uh, Freeze, uh, Goku and Beerus face against each other. Finally, I found the right words. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> I'm just, like, I like... Here. <laughs> Now, I like how um Gotenks tried to uh tried to take down Beerus but didn't have any chance because honestly I think Gotenks is it's a strong fusion but at the same time it's like really weak as well. Yeah, even it's though like, they could turn Super Saiyan free, you can see that Goku is powerful than Gotenks Super Saiyan free. Um, even before his form, if they went Super Saiyan 3 uh, against each other, I think that uh, Gotenks would lose, because, um... How... Uh, Gotenks would die against either Gogeta or Vegito. Oh, nobody's powerful. Actually, no, change that. There are people powerful than Vegito since Battle of Gods is out. <laughs> oh, yeah, but before that, he was pretty much the most powerful being in uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah, because it's a mix of Go, uh, Goku and I and actually Vegeta. wondered what would it be like if instead of um, them defeating Kid Buu, Kid Buu absorbs Vegito. Oh my god. I know. Well, we're gonna that save that. Would be we're gonna, like, um, I'm so powerful. We're gonna have to um, 
interrupt you, but this is kind of like Fukatsu no F not um Busaga. Well, so like if we're yeah, making a reference to it, then there's pretty much no point. I know I kind of sound like a boss man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you I don't no want to make I don't want to make people confused. <laughs> you ain't no boss. Oh man, eh. But anyway, there's also um there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, if Goku was down for the count in uh, Fukatsu no F, and Vegeta's like hovering over him, um, don't you think that um maybe the, their roles will swap? Their roles probably like, would swap, but I don't think Vegeta will be the hero as much as I want him to be the hero. He's never really this, been a hero. I saw this it's image from Fukatsu no F, but um, it said it was uh in uh, the Namek saga when uh, Vegeta was on his deathbed, and uh, he was like saying to uh, Goku, like you are the you're the strongest. Hone your um hone your abilities to defeat Frieza, you know, and yeah. basically like saying that. And then they showed in uh supposedly in Fukatsu no F, uh Goku was down and Vegeta was standing over him. So maybe their roles will swap, but only uh long enough for Vegeta to like I don't know, bring Frieza's power level down a little bit and then uh I don't know. It's like I it's mean... confusing and we're gonna see soon enough anyway, so Oh, I would also like to think, you remember in Battle of Gods, where, um, Bubba got slapped by Beerus. Go, uh, Vegeta, um, supposedly, supposedly got stronger than Goku, which people are still debating about. Because if they say stronger than Goku, he might, um, I don't think Vegeta would have been powerful than Super Saiyan 3, uh, Goku. Just because, uh, it's Super Saiyan 3 and Vegeta is Super Saiyan 2. But, you know, if there is a way that um Vegeta could surpass Goku and uh when he attains his god form and if Frieza did something to Bulma, he would go off and pretty much get a power boost for a bit. Hmm. I could see it. Yeah, I can see that too, because Goku never gets that when Chi Chi's hurt. Like probably he gets angry, but not as angry as Vegeta would have gotten. Because yeah, let's just and, say um... I wanna say this Goku is simple-minded. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that he's simple-minded. He's like doesn't understand much. You know, he was you raised in innocence. the woods by uh, yeah. Gohan, his grandpa, or supposedly grandpa. And you also see like his um because you see that his in innocence of gods. in Dragon Ball, like. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking uh, about the uh, more pervy side to uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> but uh, you really do Master see his Roshi. innocence. But you really do see his innocence that he doesn't understand humans or their, like, celebrations or their customs. Because he was born on, Ve he was plant born on planet Vegeta. And from that, he he was sent to Earth because of his obscurely low power level of two. Yeah, of his power level of two. So like even um you know at the very beginning of Dragon Ball Z, where um, yeah, Raditz That's comes farmer. in and says, uh, power level what four? Even the human can be uh, Goku. <laughs> What's your power level? Four, five. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, yeah. But let's let's get back into uh, revival of F. <laughs> yeah. Keep going off track. Yeah, I think we're always going off track now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Um. For uh, for Katsu no F, I'm actually really unprepared for this. Um. In Fukatsu no F, this is what I um I would think would happen. Frieza would come back. Everyone, even Master Roshi, 
and all the weak characters of uh, Dragon Ball Z are gonna have a role in this because they just say Freezer's men are as weak as before. They're super goddamn weak. Even the elites may be a very little bit of a challenge to any of them. As Yamcha. Probably even Yamcha, but Yamcha's powerful than <laughs> Master Roshi. <laughs> because Master Roshi has a puny power level. He's a puny yeah, power level. Yeah, but he's still... He's still, like, um... He's yeah. still one of the better-known characters in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. For obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Uh, anyway, um, for Fukatsu no F, um, Freezer's gonna come down, you could say, oh yeah, here's, your, here's the men of, um, of my empire, go kill everybody on this planet. And, uh, Freezer comes in, and here's the one thing I wonder, how does he obtain his god form? Did they say, bring a god Freezer into this world, or bring back Freezer as a god? I don't know, to be totally honest, like, that, that question, that, that's a really good question, um, I don't know, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see in the, uh, actual movie. My, uh, my big concern is the fact, will it be, will the version that comes out sooner, will that be, um, in Japanese, or will it be in English? It's gonna be in Japanese. They already have a release date set to Japanese. But, um, but what about for English? They don't have one for English. They don't have a release Crap. date for English, but most likely they will make a dub of it. Of they course will, they will. They will definitely make a dub. And uh, basically when you see that happen, you're gonna be like, well, um, I don't know, wow, that Freezer's coming back. Because everyone loves Freezer. Everyone loves Freezer. Even the people who have seen Dragon Ball, they've always seen, like, Goku's Super Saiyan transformation, who, who he's against. Like, everyone knows who Goku is. Freezer probably the second person that you would know. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I, I personally think that Frieza is the... I think he's the most evil villain in Dragon Ball Z just because of his intentions and his, um... He was the overlord of the universe. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> to sum it up. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean... Oh my goodness, I'm losing track. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to mention. One more thing that I want to mention. You will probably not know anything about this. But if you do, I'll be surprised. Um, so basically, we're going to see characters in Fukatsu no F that were only in the manga, in some of the mangas of Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Z. So like, I'm supposedly, and I'm going to say supposedly because this has not been confirmed, Bulma's sister may be in uh, Fukatsu no F because of the two villains that were either two villains or heroes, I haven't read it the manga of it, but, um, if you, you see, like, the two, um, guys that look like, somewhat like aliens, or something around those lines, one of those running across the wall, and, uh, I, I think you see it. Yeah, I mean, do you find dumb having a role in, uh, like, Fukatsu no because I have no knowledge about them, people that have read the manga, uh, obviously you have knowledge, because if you haven't read it, you have no knowledge about it. <laughs> and well, people are saying, well, who are those people? Why are they in the trailer? You do not know. <laughs> I think that it could have a major impact. They could have, like, a big impact. Like you said, maybe, uh, when Vegeta's fighting, uh, God Frieza, um... Maybe when, maybe when he's fighting God Frieza, um... Now that that's out of the way, yeah. what um, what were we talking about? I've, uh, we'll talk about revival of F. <laughs> uh, DBZ revival of F. The manga characters, what role they may play in. Uh, Bulma's sister. You were talking about Vegeta. Oh yeah. 
I remember. Um, did you uh, do the? Or is it still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Okay, so my um, my prediction is the fact that, like you said, like we see in Battle of Gods, when Beerus slaps Bulma, then Vegeta like becomes more powerful and is able to land hits on Beerus. Surprisingly. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could see the same thing incorporated in Revival of F, um, like with... Um, what? Like, maybe if, um, Bulma and her sister, like, get attacked by Frieza, and Vegeta notices, then maybe it is possible that he could, uh, become more powerful in, uh, his Super Saiyan form. Yeah, but if he, if he doesn't have God form inside of him, he's not gonna stand a chance. There's no way. But if he had God form, he will most likely land a lot of hits on Frieza, but probably will not win because it's kind of like an anger state. It's like turning into, I don't know, going into Kaioken, in a way. Yeah. It, you can't last forever, and you have to use it sparingly. True. So, basically, there's that. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, manga characters. Um... So yeah, I'm actually really excited to see what these guys are gonna even, what their roles are gonna be in this, because Akira Toriyama um, normally just wanted them to be just from the manga. They didn't want them um, to be in any movies or series, but now we see this, we figured that, oh my goodness, that's gonna be something big. It's gonna be something big. I'm just rambling on and on about this. You can stop <laughs> me at any point. Yeah, that's that that's what we're all doing here. Rambling. So um maybe I should change the series called T V G and S I C Talks Ramblings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. So uh yeah. Um uh, anything else you wanna say about uh revival of F no. before uh we before we end it? Yeah, I think this video has gone on long enough anyway. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has. Yeah, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. this has been TVG and SLNC Talks on Dragon Ball Z, uh, Fukatsu no F, or Revival of F, uh, whichever one you like to call it, and we'll see you guys on the next um, TVG and SLNC Talks. See ya.